Gigi back with a, another video, um, second video. I wanted to make a video um, about the review on the uh, Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipsticks. Well, they're called Lip Colors on their website. I referenced one of the shades in my um, first video and I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys kind of, um, kind of a first impression review um, of their longevity um, because on their website it claims to be a 16 hour saturated liquid matte um, and features a unique arrow applicator for precise application. Um, they are available in 10 shades. Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick gives you a flawless matte finish in a range of super saturated shades. They retail online um, for $9.49, $9.49. But I feel that I paid less for them at Target. Don't quote me on that though. They might have been having a sale. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and um, show you the different shades that I have. So I have two of the um, Superstay Matte Ink shades. Um, the one that I showed you, this was the other one in my um, first uh, video with the Get Ready With Me. I will put a link in the description box below. So if you didn't get to check that out, um, go ahead and check that out. Like, subscribe to my channel. This one is the one that I showed previously, which was in the shade Ruler, um, number 80. Um, and then I also have, um, let's see, Amazonian, um, which I think is going to be a really, really pretty color. It's kind of... There we go. Let me show you the applicator. I say an arrow, a unique arrow, which I really do like the applicators like this. Really nice. Um, before I um, apply the lipstick, lip color, I'm going to go ahead and exfoliate my lips because I want it to, I want to give you the best review I could possibly give and I cannot have crusty lips. Um, so this um, sugar scrub that I use, really nice. It's Sugar Lips by Skin Dimitri James. Um, I got it in an Ipsy bag. I only need a little dab. Okay. So, ooh. So my lips are exfoliated. I'm not gonna line my lips because I wanna see how it holds up without lining my lips. Um, I want to see if there's any feathering because usually that's why I um, line my lips because um, a lot of lipsticks feather out and it looks really messy. But I want to see what this holds up, uh, how this holds up um, without lip liner. So I'm going to go ahead and apply. Mm, very velvet feel very lightweight very opaque it's super easy to apply with this applicator actually this is one coat that's it and it's already this color so I don't think I'm going to apply um, a second coat because it really it really went on really nicely with just one coat. I will go ahead and blot one time. So there is transfer definitely, but it looks really nice. It's a little sticky, but I'm gonna give it about five minutes to set and then I'll be back. Okay, so I gave it more than five minutes to set it's still a little bit tacky, but not um, not that much. Um, it feels really nice on the lips. Very soft, very lightweight. Doesn't feel like I have lipstick on until I, you know, put them together. But it feels really, really um, nice on the lips. Very velvet. Um, really nice. Okay, so right now it is 1.33. Um, I will check back in in a few hours and see how it holds up okay you guys it is about 5 15 and I have eight um, pasta and chips and dip drink um, some soda and as you can see my lips still look very opaque now I will say 
you can see all of my lines and I will do a close up picture. But you can see all of my lines. Um, it's really accentuating all the creases, which is kind of not cute. I'm going to go ahead and apply another layer on the bottom. Maybe that will take care of it. Still accentuating, but um, other than the lines, um, I think it held up very, very well. Um, the color is very much still there. Um, looks still really good. I'll check back in um, a few more hours by the end of the night and let you know how it looks. Okay, you guys, so it is a little bit after 10, 10, 12. Before I get into the lipstick review, did anybody watch Game of Thrones? Episode four, season eight. Guys, what happened? I mean, I am at a loss for words and I'm so distraught right now because how did he die like that? Now she only has one dragon, one dragon left. It's really upsetting. Um, I don't, I kill them all. Kill everybody, kill Cersei, kill Euron. Found out his name, by the way. Euron Greyjoy. Kill all of them and let them burn. Kill the peasants, kill the whole King's Landing. Just burn it to the ground. It's over, like. Masande. her head, she got chopped. Anyway. Um, my lipstick uh, held up. <laughs> I started at 1.30. I only reapplied once. This is after me eating. This is after drinking a lot of wine because I'm um, very distraught right now. And it's Game of Thrones day, so why wouldn't I drink? It did, you know, fade a little bit because obviously I've been picking at my lips because it was so stressful through that whole episode. Yeah, I'm gonna make another video um, just to speak about that. And that should come sometime this coming week. But yes, back to the review. Let me stay on track. I'm so, I'm so sad right now. But um, pros about the Superstay lipstick, um, Superstay Matte Ink lipstick, um, stays all day. Definitely, I mean, it was since 1.30, it's now 10. Um, that's quite a long time. Um, and I think that it held up pretty good. I will take a picture to see any feathering. Let me check that now. Mm. I'm sorry guys, my lighting is really bad in here. But didn't really feather out, even without lip liner. I'm pretty stoked about that um, because usually I line my lips, but um, didn't need any lip liner. Um, I think it held up pretty great. Um, the color is very much still there. Um, I would say the only con uh, would be that I did notice that it kind of stays a little sticky, like in the inner um, part of my lips where it can get wet. Not bad, not too much to where I can't handle it. And the only other con would be that it accentuates my bottom um, lip lines. Um, but other than that, I would definitely recommend this product. Um, I, I actually really like it and I think it stood up pretty good. Thank you so much for liking this video and hitting that subscribe button. Also hit the bell so you can get notifications on future videos. Um, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. Um, and I will see you guys next time.